Night has fallen and you're weary from travel. Stars fill the sky above, and in front of you, you walk toward the house, hearing the sounds of laughter and... You sit down and join the game. It's a cheap... The lady fiddling with dice gets good cards, but has no real... The man in gray across from you, though, he's good. One by one, the other players leave the table. Finally, it's just you and the man in gray. He deals, you draw, and look at your hand. But the man in gray pushes forward his whole pile. The man in gray stops you. Now, if you like. Yep. Ten, jack, queen, king. The man in gray smiles. <laughs> Well, your luck wasn't so good, was it? That's quite the hand, but not for the game we're playing. You see, this land is built on stories. It's one big story, this country. Well, all the stories and songs and myths and legends start somewhere. With a seed. As to pay your debt to me, you'll be carrying stories. Finding the seeds first and then... Most of the stories you'll find will be small seeds. They might be true. The more important stories are the true ones. The ones people will tell you about their own... The more true stories you can find and tell, the more you can weave that truth into the big story. Now, go ahead. You tell me a story. You sometimes have to make choices about what kind of story you're finding. Is it a love story? Don't gather too many of one kind, though. This grand story... Travel? That's your job. Wander from place to place. People get bored hearing the same stories over and over. Your deepest desires? Your greatest wish? Heaven? Big Rock Candy Mountain? El Dorado, the promised land? Well, I don't know where that is. It's supposed to be somewhere in this country. Ask the people you meet. They're all searching for the same thing. It's just luck. Funny how bad luck seems to follow the folks who already have... Well, try your luck out there in this country. It's not all bad. You'll have to work hard. But I'll give you the not many who can do that. I'll strip away your flesh to make the journey easier. But still you hunger, weariness, thirst and despair. And death, yes. 
but don't worry. Go on your way, seeker. Maybe we'll meet again. Either way, it'll be an experience. I'm jealous in some ways. I hope you find what you're looking for. Two heavily armed, mud-caked women leaning over the... You are about to hand her a smoke when those men draw pistols and shove you hard into the dirt. Once they've dumped your bag out into the road, they decide you're harmless. If you were selling... can't help but come across this package by the old tree. The shape gives a start. Please don't tell my pa that I'm in here. It says in a small voice. Pa doesn't want to live with us anymore. But I want to go with him. Don't... You tell the boy you'll keep his secret. You don't see... Come every year, you know. The old man. Just when the fishing is gonna be good. He taps. Another year of this town being here. He replies, letting it. The woman walks the small town square with the poise of Betty Davis. The cut. You question a well-dressed man parked outside an oyster house. You talk with a waitress smoking outside a diner. Something funny about her. A longshoreman watches Steve doors load up a crane. You can see storm clouds on the horizon. And you don't relish the thought of being caught wandering this rocky... At the top of an ornate wrought iron spiral, you're breathless. Looks like we got a visitor. Sounds like a man's voice, deep. After a moment, the door unlatches from the inside and opens. Despite the rough exterior, this room looks like a well-appointed parlor. Oh, we manage. The tall one sits on the sofa. You wake up the next morning on their old sofa, still warm.
rusty truck and a man on horseback pull up next to one. The man with the truck leaps into the street. Brother! He shouts. Everyone here is watching these two older men cry and hug one another in the middle of Main Street. As you usher them onto the sidewalk, the driver says, Joe! Outside the small thicket of apple trees, the phrase tent you settle in beneath a fence post and brush a couple of flies from the dogs. It isn't mine. I come through the country, find a homesteader who needs He shakes his head. Nearly there. Hey there, stranger. You're welcome to enjoy this fire with me, if you're respect- This here is my spot, and I ain't inclined to share it with any bad characters. These here are my venturing companions. Kaz is the big un, and the one- I usually beat my way on the rails, but the road news said this town was fat, and the weather was fine. So I'm taking in the sights and seeing what I can drum up. I want a story that scares me. Now I'm older, almost nobody can do it. Give me your best shot. I've got enough tear jerkers in it without telling stories like that. Jeez. Traveling. I sure do love it. And I've seen some pretty things out there. I've seen serpent trains passing on a green and gold sea. I've seen mountains so tall and forests so thick, nobody will ever tame them. I once seen a bunch of townies skinny dipping in a river. That sure was something. I've seen terrible things too. Biblical floods and starving folks and black blizzards full of dust. I'm in the mood for something real funny like. Well, I sure was a downer. Give me a good venture tale instead any day. Wishes come true, huh? Hmm, if I had to say, it'd be great to have red beans and rice cooked with some fatty bacon. It's supposed to be a Mississippi River specialty, but I ain't never had it. Hey, do you got any really thrilling stories to tell? I'm hankering for one of those. get too much out of tales that are so cheerful. Not enough excitement for me. Love stories. Huh. Folks sure seem to be eat up with the notions of love. Seeming and talking about it all the damn time. I'm not sure I see the appeal myself. Hey, tell me a funny story. You seem like you still got a sense of humor. Good jokes can get you out of a fix sometimes. Well, I don't know a whole lot about the past, but 
They say there's an engine grave around these parts. Say it's haunted and full up with angry spirits. I used to love hearing stories of cowboys and engines fighting it up. Would swap tales with the youngins. But, well, I suppose if someone shot me, I'd be pretty vengeful too. I want to hear a story about ghosts or murderers or something. Scary stuff. What's the use in telling sweet happy tales if in the make you snooze? What's my future look like? I ain't looking for a traveling companion if that's what you mean. I do fine by myself, so just stick to mine in your own. Well, night's over. I think I'll see what's happening up the road this way. understand all your stories, but I'd gladly listen to more if I see you again. The tramping life suits me just fine, every day's adventure. With things being so depressed, folks walk around like it's the end of everything good. But it ain't. Plenty nice things to see if and you know where to look. <laughs> 